day 332, day ratings in 8, got up early this morning, well, got up earlier, no it was pretty early still, arming up at 4, I had to snooze button a couple times because the pup was not interested in getting up for a walk, so I said okay, if you don't need to walk, I got 20 more minutes, so, stayed in bed a little bit, tried to keep warm, definitely a little bit chilly and so around 4 30 it's getting ready for the run got some water was checking the temperature <clears throat> to see if I, how warm clothes I need to bring it was about 42 degrees which I thought it was gonna be a little bit warmer because I think the last week was like 48 or 50 which is still a little bit on the chilly side but I thought that we're going to start heating up again, but I think that rain the other day brought the temperatures back down a bit. Anyways, got to the run, and then I thought maybe I didn't get the email or something because there was no one on the track. The lights were on, and only you can see people doing a couple warm-up laps around in there. I didn't see anyone, and so I was like, great, great, like, there's no way I'm that early. If anything, I was like only two or three minutes earlier than normal. And so I pull up to the main road before the track, and then I see a line of like about 15, 20 cars. And I was like, oh, the gate's probably locked. And sure enough, the gate was locked. A couple of people were trying to warm up or just hanging out in their car. And then about five minutes later, the car from the school came over and Thankfully, let us all in. <laughs> so we all got in, and we walked over the track, and some of the gates were locked, so we had to take the long way around, which was fine. I mean, we started a little bit later, and a little later, which is fine. But we did the partner 400, or partner 800s again. So you paired up with someone, that person runs the first 400, and on that second lap, the second person jumps in, so you both run together. And then person two finishes their 800 while the first person recovers. And then when the second runner comes back around, they finish. Person, the first runner takes off again. And then you get paired up again. And then person two runs again. And that's the way it goes. And there was, there's not many people that were, but we had a decent sized group today. We got paired up with Sam, the guy that likes to, to kick a little bit. And so, <laughs> we had gone out the first one, it was a little bit aggressive, so I tried to explain it again, because it's a little different. It definitely took me a couple of them to get used to. And I said, you know, let's, let's make sure we start slow, and then we progress three to four seconds every other one, or maybe like two to three seconds, it's only 800. So, I had said that on the first 400 we ran together, and... He was still holding pace. I was like, all right, if this is what we're going to do, then let's be really careful and be smart about it. Make sure we keep our splits even, like even or a little faster. And so we're doing fine, doing fine, talking to each other a little bit right when we start, right when we're ending. Like, hey, good job, keep it up, let's, let's go. And then the third one, Sam comes around and says, I may have gone around, gone out too fast on the first two. <laughs> And so I was like, yeah, I, I could feel it too. I didn't, we got to two, I was worried. I was like, I don't know how we're going to get to six if we're going to pick it up this fast, this soon. And so I said, okay, let's just sit here. Let's hold in this little one, or this third one. And then let's almost like recover. Or no, there was the fourth one, sorry. It was on the four. On our fourth one together, I said, let's let's settle in. Let's not push the pace on this one. And that way, five, we can kind of come back, and then six, we can finish hard. He's like, all right, so we're going, we're going, it's fine. <clears throat> it's still a little bit cold out, so I had a long sleeve shirt on, which I, I don't like wearing a little longer sleeves. They just, I can feel it on my arms too much, but it was chilly, and my hands were definitely cold. I could have easily worn gloves and felt better but we finished I did 
didn't get exact splits. I just could tell we were picking up by the how much we were breathing. And we got in like a mile warm up, which was great. And then all the workouts are close to three miles. So the first one was the warm up was 846. Then we did 606, 531, and then 515. So there's definitely that progression. And then the cool down was at 750. We squeezed in another mile, which was nice. And then we were talking to another guy out there. I only briefly said hi to him, and he said hi back. It's Simon. And Gary and Tim were saying, hey, Simon just went pro yesterday. He, I, think, I don't know if he just signed his contract or whatever it was, but he said, yeah, he just went pro as of yesterday. And so we made sure to stick around and cheer him on and talk about it. I don't know if he got there a little bit later, and that's why. But he was finishing a couple more left before we <clears throat> we got going. So he said, yeah, he's trying to go pro. I believe he's trying to qualify for the, the Ironman Championships. So it's the full 140.6 miles. I believe that's it. And he, he's good. He's, he's got some speed in him. And, but he says he's holding... I say 525, 526 pace for the miles. That's what I heard. I haven't seen them. I'm just going off what they tell me. So I'm guessing that they have looked at his race results and seen him race. And obviously, whoever's sponsoring him or signed him as pro is looking at him because he's running well. <laughs> but that was just a cool, cool moment today. And then there's another brief moment. Tim had talked to me about, he's like, Dave, you know, you're fast. You can, you can do it. And I was like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> and he had briefly mentioned something about talking to some people. Didn't get too detailed. He's like, no, I'm serious. I'll, I'll talk to a few people. I'll make a few phone calls. And I was like, I don't know if you're pulling my leg right now or not. So I'm not going to say anything else before. I hear back more. I could have just be saying something in the moment. I don't know. Maybe he was just excited. He was <clears throat> talking about his racing days too when he was running. What do you say? 29, 29 20s for 10K, which is a great time, especially coming off a bike and swim. But Tim had briefly talked about he did this big race in Chicago and all these people were there and there was, it was like a $100,000 prize or I believe, and it got went down to 18 places. And so he said, even if you're 18, even if you're 18, you're walking away with at least a thousand dollars, which was great money. And he said, especially for what do you say, 20, 30 years ago. So it's really cool to hear a little, a little bit about his racing times. But anyways, if it comes up again and he talks to me about it talk more about what that conversation was but as of right now I'm not going to get too into it but it definitely made me excited about potential things to come especially after yesterday where I feel like I just said I need to look for another revenue and something else and like speaking it throwing it out in the world something's potentially coming back so it's a start so maybe I should just keep on with this keeping on what we're doing and we'll see what happens. But that just made my day, got to work. I I thought I was gonna have plenty of time to go get some food at the grocery store. Cause I came back, played with the pub for five, 10 minutes and said, come on, let's go for a walk before I decide to sit down. So we go for a 30, 40 minute walk, come back. And I said, okay, there's only 40 minutes left. So we played for another five minutes, gave her a treat was getting ready and I was like, I got plenty of time. I'm gonna shower, get my smoothie, and then I'm gonna go to fries, get like a sandwich and chips and some other kind of protein or granola bar or something like that. And get to work probably even early. And I got there like, oh my gosh, I still made it like a few minutes late, but I didn't really have a lunch. And so I thankfully I had some peanut butter and I had some, Oh, um, waffles 
in the freezer. So I made four of the waffles, put a bunch of peanut butter on there, and I had something. And I got off work, and immediately I was like, I need to eat. I, it's unusual, but I was considering leaving straight from work to go get dinner. I said, no, no, it's, it's a little early. Go back, walk the dog, hang out, see how you feel. Oh, I was just undecided, but I ended up slightly dozing off on the couch, watching, <laughs> watching, uh, not The Mandalorian, but Boba Fett. So I'll have to go back and rewatch it again. Oh, but then I called my dad, or he called me rather, and we were talking about the P P H X. The Suns were playing tonight against the Jazz, and we were talking about potentially seeing the game again before I get to the playoffs. Which the playoffs was amazing, but it, again, it'd be nice to go to another game, just to sit down and talk with them. But the other side of the story was. He called and said, my brother has COVID. He tested positive like a day or two ago, so he's just been sleeping all day. Thankfully, he's got not a lot of symptoms besides just being tired and coughing. He thinks some of it is even allergies. But he definitely tested positive, and so my dad's saying, you know, before we plan anything, let's make sure I ha don't have it or make sure I, if I do have it that I can test negative before we go. I said, yeah, of course. And, Let's keep your health in mind, and we'll keep talking, checking in on you, and make sure you're all right. But that small downer, but hopefully they're in good health as of right now, so nothing too scary. But that was it. Just finished the Suns game, so I came back in. Still have two sets of push-ups to do. I got to read, and I've only done one set of chin-ups, so got a little bit of work before I go to bed. We're going to call it there. So run your life with health and happiness and have a good night.